It seems that Hauchi has some potential with Jinsi. Uh, and the reason is... <laughs> Subscribe, please! Hello, kittens and kitters and all the good good. Hi, YouTube. Say hi to YouTube chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, um, today... I want to go over the banners that have been officially announced for Water and Waves 1.1, which will be starting in a few hours from now, tomorrow, uh, on the 28th, anyway. Well, from the night of the 27th to the 28th, depending on where you are from. I'm from EU, so it's going to be at like 6 a.m., which is a bit horrendous, but we'll see. Anyway, so we have the official banner for Jinchi and her signature weapon. Let's have a look at the Soulborn Renewal, which is... The character banner. So obviously we have Jinshi, she's so beautiful, she's my wife, don't touch her, she's mine, freak off. And as the four star resonator, we actually have a pretty stacked lineup, not going to lie. We have Sanhua, which is one of the best sub DPS hybrid support character in the game. We have Danjin, which is an amazing four star DPS, one of the best out there, quite a risky kind of uh, gameplay. But it's a, it's a high risk, high reward, as they say. And we have Yang Yang. Uh, I would say that Yang Yang is probably the worst here. Um, or like the not as good as the other on this banner. Um, but Yang Yang here, um, even if she's not the best, she's still pretty useful. Uh, if you don't have Janshin, for example, because she does have some grouping. Um, and that is pretty good. She does have some grouping. She can be set up with the rejuv Rejuvenating Glow set, uh, which is... A probably good for anything support related if you do want to go that way so now the first thing i want to say is do these characters work with jinsi um so i think yang yang works with jinsi well because jinsi has a lot of aoe which is pretty good obviously so being able to group your opponent is going to be a good time uh she will also get some energy uh, and some healing um, which is pretty decent, um, that coming from Yang Yang, I mean. Also, if you already have Yang Yang and you do end up getting her sequence 6 from this, she is able to buff the attack of all team members. Actually, a lot of 4-star characters, once they unlock the sequence 6, do get some team-wide buff, which is pretty surprising, but very nice, obviously. Um, so here she can get a 20% increase to attack damage for 20 seconds, which is quite commendable, to be honest. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, Sanhua, obviously very good support. She buffs um, basic attack, which um, even if the the core of the damage that Jinsi does is from her skill, basic attack is still highly used on her because it is part of a rotation. She has to do four basic attack into a skill, into four basic attack, into a skill, into more basic attack. So she, her rotation actually includes a lot of basic attack sequences because you want to be able to transform into the different states. So Sanhua here is actually pretty good with Jinsei in my opinion. Sanhua obviously is very good with Constellation and uh, she gets even stronger obviously with S6. Yeah, it's, again, it's all team members' attack is increased by 10% for 20 seconds and can stack up to two times, so she also has the ability to increase the team's damage by 20%, uh, and that's after one of her eyes is detonated, essentially. So, obviously, very good. Personally, I already have a lot of uh, sequences on the Sanhua, so if I'm lucky, I might get that S6, which would be awesome. Um, and then Danjin, obviously very good DPS I was talking about, high risk high reward, and she also has a buff from his sequence 6 if you do manage to get that, which uh, increased the attack of all team members uh, after using her heavy attack ice cleave. So we got some good stuff. I think here, if you do end up getting Jinshi, Sanhua, and Yang Yang, you can actually do a decent team with those three. It's not that bad. Uh, I think Danjin is a bit more complicated because um, her outro skill does not really work with Jinsi at all. Uh, meanwhile, Yang Yang and uh, Sanhua can work here. But it's nice, like, if you don't get Jinsi, you still have a, a chance to get a pretty decent DPS and get some constellations there. Uh, sorry, sequences. So I think the banner overall is actually pretty stacked. Now, um, secondly, we do also have the weapon banner. And obviously, we have a signature weapon. 
Uh, that signature weapon is going to be very, very good. Uh, it's called Ages of Harvest. And essentially, she straight up, it straight up gives 12% attribute damage bonus, which I, I think is just damage bonus based on the character's damage they do. So if your character deals spectral damage, I think it's going to give 12% spectral damage. Uh, and then when you use your intro skill, the person that equips the weapon, uh, that has the weapon equipped, will get ageless marking, which grants 24% resonance skill damage bonus for 12 seconds. And when you cast your resonance skill, you will get ethereal endowment, which will get you 24% resonance skill damage bonus for 12 seconds. So basically, when you go into the combat, your skill deals more damage. When you use your skill, your subsequent skills will deal even more damage. And because obviously she does basic attack, basic attack skill, basic attack, basic attack skill, basic attack, basic attack skill, she does a lot of skill. And so that's gonna be absolutely awesome on Jinsi. This is obviously her best in slot. Now, when it comes to the other weapons we have here. So first of all, we, this four star here, this is, uh, it is called Discord. Uh, it scales off, uh, it's energy regen stats. Uh, and when you do a resin skill, you restore concerto energy. Um, so it's, I mean, I guess it's okay because I will get your Jinsi some concerto energy, but honestly, I'm not too, too convinced. Uh, I feel you're better off, better off having some Elias Cleaver, which is also a four star weapon, uh, which will, um, increase your attack, um, after using resin skill. Um, but I mean, it's an option, it's decent. The thing is that right now Discord is not really used by any character apart from Taoshi, for example, who's not on the character banner, uh, but that can be used there, I suppose. Um, then the second weapon is actually very good. It's Commando of Conviction, which when you use your intro skill, you increase your attack by 15% for 15 seconds. This is actually the best in slot for Sanhua, who's obviously on the character banner. So that is very, very good. It scales of attack. So um, it, it's a very good weapon. And finally, we do have the gauntlet, which is Amity of Accord. And Amity of Accord is after using your intro skill, your resonance liberation damage um, is increased by 20% for 15 seconds. The thing with this weapon is that it actually scales off of defense. Um, so this is mostly used on Yuan Wu, and that's pretty much it. So I actually think this weapon banner is definitely not the best because two of the three four star weapon uh, are for characters that right now are definitely not really used. That said, there's a little caveat there. Um, it seems that Tao Chi has some potential with Jinsi. Uh, and the reason is that Tao Chi's outro skill actually is a resin skill damage deepen for the next character which means this weapon is the best in top to Tauchi and Tauchi has good potential to support Jinsi so if you have her and you get this weapon you can slap it on her and maybe do a team with that you can try it out there's been a lot of people testing things out and saying that Tauchi is actually very good with Jinsi um, so potentially you can do a team like that um, so yeah um, personally I don't really know. I'm a bit uh, short on pool resources, so I don't know if I'm going to try and get the weapon because I really want to get Zhongli afterward. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe if I'm lucky and I get the Jinsi early, I'll try to get uh, her weapon. But uh, I, yeah, I'm not too sure. <laughs> anyway, do let me know what you think. Do let me know if you're going to be uh, pulling for her, her weapon, if you intend to skip. Uh, anyway, I'm curious. Drop a comment. Tell me your thoughts. Like, subscribe, all the good good. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Mwah.